What's going on guys? I got some team deathmatch on Summit today and it's been a long time. It's been shit, probably close to two weeks since I posted a gameplay and I honestly couldn't even tell you why. I've had I had a zombies gameplay like loaded up in my movie maker for the longest time and just never commentated it. Uh, it was close to 10 minutes and I really didn't feel like talking for that long right now so uh, I picked this gameplay. It's a flawless 23 and 0 but it's probably not the best flawless because it's not like I rush around the entire time. Once I get kind of towards the end of the gameplay, I start to realize that I'm getting close to flawless and I don't really run out there and rush and kind of camp right up there where those two guys are. I kind of camp up there in that area for like at least three minutes of this gameplay and it's a, not even a six minute gameplay. So that's well over half of the time I spend just waiting out my flawless game. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to kind of talk about, you know, how my views on Call of Duty have changed over the past year. Uh, but real quick, I do want to make a shout out to all of you guys that have subscribed to me. Um, I recently broke over 300 subscribers, so, you know, as far as commentators go in, like, the community, that's not a whole lot. But to me, you know, when I started this, I didn't care if I had one view a video. Like, I don't care. You know, I just make this because it lets me talk about Call of Duty and video, whatever video game I'm posting. I've done Madden before, and I don't know, it's just fun for me to make these videos. And, you know, some t like that's why a lot of times I might not post a video for a while because if I'm not having fun at the time, like if I feel like it's getting too much of a job of me for posting videos, then I'll just not make a video for a week or so until I really get the urge to make another one. So that's probably why, you know, I have a couple breaks here and there where I don't post videos. But I'm going to try to post like three or four uh, videos here in this week because I'm going on vacation August 7th through the 14th. So obviously there won't be any videos coming up then. Uh, so I'm going to try to get some out this week. Uh, I actually got a couple multiplayer maps. I can actually tell you the whole deal that's going to come this week. There's going to be this video. There's going to be around 31 uh, zombies gameplay on Ascension that I have to clutch because my two teammates go down. That'll be a pretty awesome gameplay. And then I have a 26 and 2. I mean, yeah, no, 36, 26 and 2, I think. Maybe it's even 36 and 2. I don't even know. Um... Uh, multiplayer game and then a 41 and 5 multiplayer game uh, coming up so look forward to those uh, those three gameplays will be uh, what comes out this this week and then I'll be going on vacation so uh, and then there won't be anything until August the 15th the, that Monday after I get back hopefully I'll get something up but uh, something real quick man if you've never tried zombies um, or multiplayer like whichever one some people I know only play zombies and don't even play that much multiplayer um, you should definitely try the other one out because, you know, in my case, um, from Call of Duty 4 all the way up until Black Ops came out, I was a strictly multiplayer guy. That's all I played. Um, you know, Modern Warfare 2, I never played any Spec Ops. Uh, World at War, I hardly, I think I might have played one or two Zombies rounds and that was it my entire time of having that game. Uh, so, you know, I was a really hardcore multiplayer guy and that's all I ever played. Um... And I think a lot of that was Modern Warfare 2 was so fun for me, even after I reached the maximum level of 10th Prestige, level 70. I, I think I just, you know, there was still quick scoping and multiplayer just seemed fun for me. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the multiplayer maps on the map packs for Modern Warfare 2 were also better than the multiplayer maps have been for um, Black Ops. But the Zombies maps have been well worth it for me uh, and spending the $15 for the map pack. Um, but if you would have told me a year ago that I would have spent more time playing zombies on Black Ops than multiplayer, I would have told you you were crazy. But uh, once I reached that 15th prestige level 50, my friends, after like weeks of trying to get me to play zombies, finally got me into a lobby one night. And so I played zombies, and the rest is history, man. I've been a hardcore zombies player ever since then. Um... And, you know, I don't know. It's just nice to work towards getting a higher level. Like, the highest I've gotten on uh, Kino Der Toten is 37. The highest I've gotten on Ascension is 32. Uh, 28 on Shangri-La and 29 on Call of the Dead. So, um, I don't know. It's just it's nice to try to challenge yourself and to get higher and higher every round. And something very strange about zombies is no matter how good you do and how much you're kicking ass... No matter how far you get in the game, you always feel disappointed when you die. And that just, I feel like that's what keeps me coming back for more, you know. I can get on multiplayer and just win match after match after match after match. And I just want to quit playing because it's not that fun. 
but zombies keeps you coming back because no matter how good you do um you know you're not gonna be happy with the result unless you just <laughs> you play forever uh but anyways uh, I just really feel like that taught me a lesson that, you know, it's good to explore, like, every part of the games, and, you know, just because multiplayer is super fun doesn't mean you have to limit yourself just to that, because I was missing out, apparently, World at War Zombies must have been sweet, because everybody was talking about it back then, and apparently I was missing out uh, a lot on that, and if you haven't played any Zombies now, then I, su I feel like you're missing out, you know, Kino Der Toten is, like, an awesome map, if you don't even want to buy the map packs, you can spend, you know, hundreds of hours just playing Kino, uh, and you'll never get tired of it, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and go get, a go get out there and play some multiplayer or Zombies, whichever one you don't play that much, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and y'all have a good day.